Hi everyone and welcome to another video. Today we will review some pharmacology notes with some basic information about common medications used to treat cardiac disorders. This will be probably useful for people who are preparing for the NABLE or the VCSC as you might encounter questions regarding this topic. For example, they can give you a clinical case followed by an ECG or an echo. They may ask you which is the medication that provides the most benefit to the patient or which one would it be indicated for the abnormality. This may be challenging or tricky because you may identify the abnormal rhythm and say it's atrial fibrillation, for example, yeah, but you don't remember how to treat it. So let's start. So here we have four medications, mexalatin, pimovendan, diltiazem, and amlodipine. Okay. And we also have some mechanism of action and some indications. For example, systemic hypertension, supraventricular tachycardia, congestive heart failure, ventricular arrhythmias. And the idea is that you try to match uh, each medication to um, each indication and each mechanism of action. We will move to the next part. So, mexalatine is an antiarrhythmic agent with similar effects as lidocaine and is used to treat ventricular arrhythmias, including premature ventricular complexes and ventricular tachycardia. Pimobendan is an inodilator uh, with inotropic and vasodilator effects and is used to treat congestive heart failure secondary to uh, DCM. Diltiazem is a calcium channel blocker that slows AV node conduction and is used to treat supraventricular tachycardias, uh, in some cases hypertension and atrial fibrillation. And amlodipine is also a calcium channel blocker, which is used to treat systemic hypertension, especially in cats. So I hope you kept studying and thank you for watching this video and see you next time.